Hi there everyone. Thanks so much again for all of your support. As you know, we've lost our little cat yesterday. It actually uh, came as a surprise and then it didn't. He had um, been sick for a little while and uh, he was actually starting to heal. And so we were feeling really good about his recovery. Um, but then he started taking a turn, I guess, uh, last week we noticed a couple things with him and then yesterday he ended up with a blood clot in his back to his legs and so he couldn't move his legs around and so when I brought him into the vets of course um, they suggested that I do you know uh, what we need to do sometimes um, you know when it comes to ending the life of a pet just to save them that suffering now it brings me to the subject today that I wanted to talk about because a few people have asked about that and they have difficulty in letting go of the suffering that was you know experienced here on this earth when seeing a family member go through either a bout of cancer or going through diff different different um, types of ailments or difficulties and you know you have to understand that when a person passes um, the realm on the other side and beyond is so different uh, than what it is here as experienced here on this earth um, as you're well aware we have a body here and I call this the old carcass uh, but this body here is what experiences everything here on this earth. It's what measures joy. It's what measures pain. It's what measures everything in our life. And that's how we hear as souls that choose our lives before coming into being here on this earth. We choose our ailments. We choose everything that we experience in our life in order to be able to learn, emotionally speaking, because without these emotional or physical or these types of feelings we would never learn lessons of course now when we progress over to the other side in, in other words when we pass away here the body is no longer needed we enter it um, which means we bury it or we cremate the body whatever but we don't need that body anymore because there's no life to it and so of course we know that body decomposes we know there's no use for it However, the energy contained inside of that body, which is called in my, in my language, the soul, some people call it light, energy, that kind of thing, that energy never, never, never dies. Now, I always tell people, you know, when you think of cable television and you think of that, back in the 80s, people used to splice cable. I remember at home, maybe I shouldn't say this, but I remember at home when I was a child, my dad taking cable television splicing the cables going to Canadian Tire and picking up you know goodies to be able to do this is so we'd have cable TV in the uh, of course living room and then in the bedroom maybe the reception wasn't as good but let me tell you we had cable now this was a way of stealing the signal but I always tell people you have to kind of look at it the same way when you're looking at souls or energy think of them as no longer having a body because the body is stayed here behind but thinking of this um, being fully evolved energy, think of it as like a piece of big energy ball which can also splice itself away. So this energy, you might think I'm nuts here, but this energy does come here and it does splice itself. And so think of these energies that come around. They could be in a million places with one thought, but this energy doesn't have the same physical type of feelings as we would here on earth so when a soul progresses to the other side there's no male or there's no female aspect to that when a medium does a reading whether it's a physical medium or a mentalist medium doesn't matter uh, the thing is they're able to perceive if, if the medium has a clear sentience ability they're able to perceive the feeling of that energy if it were here alive on earth so I let's see I'm reading for someone and I pick up an energy around them I'm able to describe to them how they would have been here on earth sometimes they give me the essence of their name or their date of birth or sometimes different things like that but at the end of the day they don't have the same physical suffering we do so they know that the human here that stays behind suffers emotionally of course when we grieve I'm grieving my cat right now but that cat or and, and spirits by the way can be different human spirits compared to animal spirits but let's say even the cat or even a human spirit passing over to the other side will no longer have 
these human characteristics in terms of feeling the same thing because they're a very perfect and beautiful um, they're divine completion beautiful amazing energy which doesn't have the same um, human type of emotion as we carry here on this earth but at the end of the day they still um, know and can relate to how we feel or how they would have felt while they were alive here on this earth so when we're thinking of human suffering think of the fact that they're no longer human they had this human existence when they were living here and when they went through their suffering so if you have a loved one that passed of cancer and um, you know you saw them suffer here I need to let you know that they don't suffer anymore they're completely beautiful and happy they may remind me of how they passed away if let's say you're sitting in front of me and I'm going through it they may talk about how they passed what was wrong with them what they said who was in the room what you had for supper that evening but at the end of the day they are so so happy to be to the other side they also are um, very very connected to you like that cable I was telling you the splicing that energy is still connected so the body is no longer here we already know that but that energy is always around us always around us whether you're aware of that or not doesn't matter they're always there um, they love us unconditionally whether you had difficulties here on this earth or not like I said the transition through to the other side and the feeling you know when your soul is totally different than the feeling you would have here as a human with this carcass that feels all of these emotions joy pain anger sadness that kind of thing very very big difference now they want you to think that when you think of them they want you to know that they're happy they want you to know that they're no longer carrying that suffering that they experienced at the time of their death sometimes that suffering is necessary believe it or not or they've planned it this way because they don't want you suffering through a sudden death or you need to accept that suffering in order to let go of that soul so that you can let them go and most people let go after you tell them to to go on to their journey or that they need to let go and that it's time for them to transition through so they're always very thankful also for that I hope that's answered somewhat of your question about the differences between here and beyond and also the difference between the emotional aspect of human form here on earth and of course the divine energy all-encompassing around us that never 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 dies or never really you know detaches itself from that being that would have been here on this earth the one that's no longer here in presence but just to let you know that never dies they're always around us they love us they love when you talk to them they love when you acknowledge them they just love you now as I was talking about all this I need to give a couple of messages out there very quickly to Dan Dan I don't know if it's Danielle or Dan but D-A-N comes through very clearly and I need to let you know that Dan did suffer or someone by the name of Dan watched someone suffer immensely to the point where I think the eyes were affected or I have to tell you there's something to do with the face that's not pleasant to look at so I don't want to go into much more detail but it's a visual physical feel to a face area need to let you know that they don't feel that and that they have blue eyes now not brown they laugh about this okay so when you're thinking of the disfiguration that comes along with this illness or with the way they passed or something to do with the eyes I have to tell you they're not feeling that they could see so clearly so beautifully and they want you to know that all of this is healed there's no more puffiness and there's no more I don't know if it, one eye was removed at the time of death or there's something to do with the left eye here everything's perfect now okay so you need to know that so try not to focus so much on that try to focus as to what they looked like before they passed I know it's a very very difficult not to imagine that very last look that you see in a person if you've had to experience you know their death or have had to experience watching them pass but let go of that my friend and please know that they're perfect and beautiful so Dan or if this is Dan that's past D-A-N 
could be referring to female or male, but just to let you know, they needed to let you know this today, and um, they love you very, very much. They send you beautiful, beautiful fuchsia and purple flowers. I hope you have a beautiful day. I hope you understand this blog. I have to tell you I'm a little bit emotional today because of my cat's passing. And so if it's a little bit fuzzy, I hope that you can understand what I was trying to get across. However, if you have any questions, please, or if there's any clarification or anything at all, please send me a note or just put your comments to this video. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. I hope you have a beautiful day. Love you all so much. And have um, just a stress-free day, okay? Bye-bye.